Violence Division now has expanded its hours. A judge now available during overnights and on weekends. WGN Shannon Halligan joining us now from the newsroom, breaking down the new services aimed at helping victims and survivors. Shannon. Yeah, one thing that the pandemic changed was being able to conduct meetings remotely, including court proceedings. With this change, judges will be able to provide emergency orders of protection over Zoom at a critical time. Up until now, victims of domestic violence in Cook County had to visit a judge during business hours. For the most part, it was Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Stephanie Love Patterson is the executive director at Connections for Abused Women and Their Children, or CAWC. She said domestic violence can happen at any time of the day. That's why they're teaming up with Cook County to provide much needed assistance. We know in the domestic violence community that there's domestic violence that happens around the clock. So the fact that there's an after hours response and access um, is huge for victims and survivors of domestic violence. Now, in addition to normal court hours, a judge will be available remotely to hear emergency orders of protection. An emergency order of protection is an instrument that um, a judge um, issues to uh, the victim or survivor of domestic violence as well as the person that's causing harm that says this um, the person causing harm can't be within a certain distance um, of this person. The additional hours will include Monday through Friday between 9 p.m. and 3 a.m. and on weekends from 1 p.m. until 6 p.m. No, Love Patterson said this could be a game changer for people in their greatest time of need. And to have, again, um, greater access to um, a, an instrument that's needed in such a critical time um, for them and, and their safety for themselves and for their children. To reach CAWC's 24-hour domestic violence hotline, you can call 773-278-4566. We'll have more information on services available on our website, WGNTV.com. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN News. Thank you, Shannon.